Hey guys, long time no see. I just want to rant in this video. This is just a regular vlog. Ain't nothing crazy going on. I don't really got much to talk about. But, um,. My OCD and anxiety has been fucking with me lately. And um, I feel like I've gotten better at managing it. Y'all see my face, man. I have like the worst skin in the fucking world. I'm trying to use different face masks. And facial cleansers to shrink the pores and um, help with the hyperpigmentation. I've always had an uneven skin tone, but not like this. Like It's gotten worse over the years. And I don't know what the fuck this is. Look at this. Y'all see that? Like all this dark skin, like super dark skin, right around here. I don't know if this like sweat that um, the sun got to and it, you know, like fried in my skin. Um, and like, you know, when you wear fitted hats and you be sweating and I see guys that wear fitted hats and they got like real uh, darker skin. And dark spots on that forehead and, you know, around the sides of that face. And that come from the sweat that be dripping, you know, in the summertime. And the sun gets to it and kind of fries them. But even over this side, you can see all these dark spots. And it's been getting worse over the years. I've been thinking I got that disease at Cisco and, um... Michael Jackson had what's it called? Vita Vita Liga? However you pronounce it. But yeah, I'm using a few uh face masks to shrink my pores and to help lighten my skin. And I only been using a few of them for a few days. Um, I have a product coming in the, the, the mail. I don't know. I, I ordered it the other day. I don't know what it, what the name, I forgot the name of it. Sutton Hanley, Sutton Hanley for men. I forgot the name of it. I use Lumen, L-U-M-I-N. Um, and that, I, that's always worked in the past. I just haven't been really consistent with it. So I just have to be more consistent with it. I also ordered this off of Amazon. This is a facial cleanser. Um, it's an exfoliator. Exfoliating cleanser. Um, hopefully this works. They say it works pretty well. I was using Gleaming, which is really good. But it's not really the best for a sensitive skin. Because it really broke me the fuck out. Um, so, I'm going to give this to my mother. Because I don't think her skin is as sensitive as my skin. Um, and I recently ordered good molecules. Um, this is supposed to brighten your skin and, like, you know, just lighten dark spots. So I rubbed this, like, all over here, around here, up here, and over here to, like, you know, brighten my skin and get it back to its normal, natural color. Um, I, they actually have, I think, like a moisturizer, too, that's coming in the mail that I ordered. I didn't get it yet. So, it should be coming, like, in a day or two. This is the face mask that I'm using that um, I heard good things about, and it has great reviews. I purchased it off of Amazon. Uh, did see mud mask. So, I'm actually going to be putting that on. Matter of fact, I'm not going to use this one tonight. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a face mask 
to my face three times, three nights out of the week. Um, and just make sure that I use my facial cleanser every morning. Um, and also, I have a sunscreen um, that I purchased that's really good. I'm going to put that on whenever I go out, especially in the summertime, because I think that's where these dark spots come from. Um, but I'm going to be using this today. And I hope this don't break me out the way the Gleeman did, because it's the same color. I don't know if it has the same ingredients, but this, yeah, had me. I don't know if it's this or if it's just me. Because in May, I always, like, I had a, um, what they call these things? Like a sty, is that what they call them? I had that under my eye a few days ago. I was hoping that it didn't last long, and it didn't. Because I'm going to London um, on May 27th. I'll be there for five days. My birthday is May 30th. So um, I'll be in London from May 7th, May 28th. I'm leaving 27th, but I get there 28th to June 2nd. So that's, yeah, May 28th. Saturday, May 28th to um, Thursday, June 2nd. Um, but, yeah, this, I don't know if this made my, my skin break out, but my skin looks even worse now. And I envy guys that have, like, beautiful, smooth skin, like skin that's, like, the texture of, like, your, your chest, the skin on your chest, like, nice and smooth. Like, all my skin is smooth. It's my face that's the problem. I have very oily skin. And um, I think because I just wash my face with water because I don't really wash it with, like, soap or facial cleanser. I haven't over over the years. This is probably all fucking dirt. And the reason I don't is because I've always been so scared of soap getting in my eye. But um, washing your face with just rinsing your face with water is not washing it. Like, you know, you have to wash it with a uh, facial cleanser. So I'm going to be putting this on. I'm afraid because this has, like, um... I don't know, it's vitamin C clay mask with um turmeric in it. I know uh, turmeric is good good for a lot of a lot of things. Um but do they have like any fruit in it? They don't really got the ingredients on here. What the fuck? Maybe the ingredients are in the box. The smell is this smells like uh clay. It really do smell like clay. That one don't. Let's see. Um, anyway, I'm going to London next Friday around this time. This will be the first trip where my flight takes off at when I'm getting on the flight that takes uh, uh, getting on the plane that takes off at night. That I never. Uh, I've been on the plane during the. The evening before, like coming home, but never flying anywhere late at night. And it takes off at, I think, close to 10 o'clock. So that's gonna be different. Um, all of my excursions, I always make my own itinerary wherever I go. And um, what I do is, like, wherever I go, I'll look up, like, the top 20 things. I'll, say that the, I'll type in, like, the type or 20 things to do in Spain. That's what I did before I went to Spain. Or the top 20 things to do in Italy or the top 20 things to do um, in L.A. And then I'll pick from that list. And I'll usually just pick, like, the most popular things to do and I'll uh, you know do some sightseeing and go to all of like the most popular landmarks or historical sites See, some people don't get their eyelids, but I'm going to get my eyelids because they're dark. So, that's what I did. I looked up the top 
20 things to do in London and I picked like 10 of the things that I want to do or like it was like 15 actually things that I wanted to do and uh, I'm just really nervous I'm really nervous because my anxiety has not it's been bad lately and um I know a lot of you may be like, well, you got through your trip to Spain. You did just fine in Spain and you did just fine in 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 Italy and Mexico and LA, but I feel like my um, anxiety has worsened since then. All right. You know. So, I'm scared. And, um, I don't know. But I, I believe I'll get through it. I'll do just fine like I always do. I'll find a way to pull through it because I'm a strong dude. And persevering is just something that I do pretty well at overcoming obstacles and just finding ways to to get through challenging situations but it's just not easy traveling by yourself man it's not traveling by yourself to uh you know places you've never been in foreign countries it's, it's hard um even when you don't have a mental illness it's hard so and it's even harder when you're doing it alone um, with a mental illness. People just don't understand how hard it is to, you know, be like out in public when you're an introvert and you have severe OCD and social anxiety. So I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I booked the trip. And here's the, the, the downside about booking international trips you have to book them if you're trying to save money you're going to have to book them like at least five months in advance four months like minimum in advance because I don't know if it's uh, tickets are so high now and, and because they're trying to like make money back from the money that they lost during the pandemic or what, but ticket prices are out of this world. They are so fucking high right now. And so <laughs> you can forget trying to take somebody or paying for somebody else to come with you. They better have their own money because uh -uh. like even tickets to travel domestically are like $700 now. Minimum. So, yeah, I think my um. So yeah, I, I have to I have to book these trips like four five months in advance, so they're cheaper. And but the problem with doing that is you never know how you're going to feel six months down the line. And now that it's time for me to actually go to London, you know, I really didn't want to go to Spain. I I wasn't feeling it, but. I just pushed through it, and I think, you know, I, I enjoyed it for the most part, but I'm not, I don't think I'm as strong as I used to be. I feel like, you know, it's not as easy for me to get through these trips alone like I was able to do, you know, back in 2020 or 2020 last year. Um, it, it, I feel like it's becoming more difficult for me to travel alone than it has been before. And um, I just don't know how many more times I can do this. I'm just tired of traveling alone. Now, the one upside to traveling alone is if you have a panic attack or if you have a bad moment, um, you can have that moment to yourself and you don't have to worry about judgment from anyone that you're on the trip with. When you travel with someone, it comes with a certain level of pressure because you have to put on a front and you have to fake the funk 
because you don't want people to see you crack. You know what I mean? So there's times where I went on trips with Tina or other people and I had to fake the funk and pretend that I was happy and, you know, pretend that everything was okay when I wasn't really, I was really depressed and I wasn't really feeling that well. So that's the upside of traveling alone is you don't, it, it, it's a sense of like freedom. You know what I mean? Like you feel free. You don't feel like, and, and, and you're not um, as uptight. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to really fake it for anybody. Um, but yeah, I'm a, Barcelona was, was kind of difficult. It was really difficult. And that was only a four day trip. And I'm going to be in London five days. And um, I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm really dreading it. But um, I don't think I had insurance on this trip. And I usually get insurance on my trips. But I don't think I had insurance on this trip. Um, I think I booked the trips too close together. But London was already booked. Spain was just um, a trip that I just booked because I was supposed to go last July and didn't go. And so um, I received credits for it. And I was like... Okay, I'll, that'll be the first trip I'll take in 2022. So just book that. I don't know why I chose March. I just thought it would be good to go somewhere, at, you know, at the top, kind of like, sort of at the top of the year. And then, um, you know, London was already booked. So I booked both of these trips. I booked London, I think, in like September or October. And I booked uh, my trip to Spain, I think, in December. But I, I probably should have booked it like, and I think I booked it in for March because I had just came back from Dominican Republic in December. So I wanted at least three months to go by. Um, but I probably should have spread it them out. But I already had my mind set on going to London for my 35th birthday. So it was no moving that. So maybe that's the reason why I booked um, Spain so close to uh, London. Because it was really no other time for me to book it unless I went in September. But that still would be only you know four months apart. Um, because I'll, I'm going to Bahamas in December, so, anyway, um, I'm just really nervous, and I just want to get this trip out the way, um, obviously when you do things, you, you, you do it feeling good about it, you know, when you book trips, and then obviously, you know, six months down the line, you never know how you'll feel, and so I'm not feeling that good about going to London now, um, because things change, you know, in six months. So, yeah. All right, let's rinse this. Let me rinse this um, ugly face mask off. I look funny. Put this on my face. They say you're supposed to rinse your face with uh, cold water because it closes the pores. But I'm going to use, like, cool water. I don't want it to be warm or hot, but I don't want it to be too cold either. And I always rinse it with a rag. Some people rinse their face with all their hands, but I do it with a rag because with your hands, it takes forever. All right. One thing I noticed is this doesn't burn like the other face mask gleaming. So that's a good thing. I finally found the face mask that they claim helps to brighten your skin that doesn't burn or cause an allergic reaction. Because I was thinking that maybe it just wasn't possible for me to find a face mask that works for hyperpigmentation and dark spots that I wouldn't be allergic to because I know that they probably use like, I think it's like hydroquinone. I think that's like a lightning agent. I don't know if it's bleaching it or what, but I know it light brightens your skin and get rid of dark spots. And um, a lot of skin brightening face masks have um. I don't know, like different acids and stuff like, cause I'll be seeing like pictures of lemons and oranges. <laughs> or 
on the cover of them. So I'll be like, okay, is it like acidic? Is that why it's breaking me out? But this felt fine. Like, this felt really good. Didn't burn, didn't itch or nothing. All right. I think I got it all off. No? Alright. So that's that. Uh, hopefully with consistency. This shrinks my pores and lightens my skin a little bit back to its normal color. It removes these dark spots. I guess I just got to be consistent. I'm not going to see results uh, overnight. But yeah, see like that? All the dark. Maybe it's just, you know, my imagination, but it looked like. It's gonna look a little lighter already than it did uh, four or five days ago because I've been using these products before I died five days. Not this one. This one just came in the mail today. Um, but I did use Gleaming once and then I used that other face mask over there. Did Sea Mud. It's a great one here. And I've been putting this on my face. It's called again. Good molecule is supposed to brighten your skin, remove dark spots. So I'm just trying to be consistent with these face masks. I'm gonna apply them um, to my face at least three nights out the week, um, and use the moisturizer that's coming in the mail that's supposed to help to brighten skin and moisturize your skin. Um, and the face mask, like I said, they also, the face you cleanser and the mask, they help to shrink pores. And, um, you know, they, they, they're exfoliating products, so they help to remove, um, all the dead skin cells that are in your pores. Um, you get it from oily skin. If you have really oily skin, like a lot of dust and stuff and dirt gets stuck in your pores. And if you don't you know, use an exfoliating facial cleanser to extract all of that. It just makes your pores wider and wider. And I think that's what happened to me. See how my, see the little holes in my face? So hopefully, um, you know, I can shrink those motherfuckers. And get real nice, smooth, vibrant skin. So yeah, wish me luck. Um... I'll be, like I said, in London, um, May 28th through June 2nd, it's five days, alone. I'm just really not looking forward to this trip. I think this is like the second time I really didn't want to go on one of my vacations. Like, really just didn't want to go. I've just been going through so much lately, I just want to be in my safe haven. I just don't want to go <laughs> at all. But already booked it, and um, I just got to get through it, man. Just got to get through it. I'm not looking forward to the long eight-hour plane ride. That, that's another thing that I hate, them long-ass plane rides. Um, I got to make sure that I don't sleep the day before and take a really good sleeping uh, a, a pill that'll put me to sleep so I can at least be asleep for half of the plane ride. You know what I mean? At least, like, four or five of the eight hours. You know, so if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I always post pictures in real time and uh, stories. And, and you know, I always take a few months. Um, but I post my vacation videos. Y'all gotta, y'all don't fuck with my vacation videos. Y'all haven't been looking at them at all lately. I don't know what's going on. Y'all ain't looking at Jamaica one. Y'all ain't really, I ain't get many views on the, the LA one. I don't know what's up. I don't know if it's jealousy or what. Y'all always be never give me no attention to get my videos. All right, y'all. Later.